There are two kinds, one is infectious, this is an invasion from another organism, you're somebody's food or somebody's habitat <laughs> So that's a different matter that they need to be bombed out. But I feel only twenty-five to thirty percent of the world's ailments today are infectious in nature, rest is all chronic. That means people are on self-help, they're busy producing their own variety of disease. I think every year people are coming out with va various variations of disease, so that doctors will be baffled every day <laughs> So how does one manifest this? We must understand, every cell in human body is programmed for life and health, at the same time, the same individual cell is also programmed from death. When it's time, it will start dismantling the system in a certain way. So programming for life, well-being, health is also there, programming for death is also there. If you in any way create a wrong message, if your messaging is wrong, then some cells start working for your death. That's all disease is in a certain way. They're working towards dismantling of life because somehow they got that message. You're not sending out a clear message that, I want to live healthy, I want to live well. That message is not there. Today if you're angry with somebody, when you're angry or resentful with somebody, you're not doing much to them, you're poisoning yourself. There is substantial medical evidence today to show you are literally chemically poisoning yourself. So when you yourself poison yourself, what is the message that the cellular structure in the body is supposed to get? The message goes across and even if two percent of them believe that you want to die because you're drinking poison, then they'll start working for that. Now conflicting different types of activities happening, one set of cells working for your well-being, another set working against you, manifests itself in many different ways. This is a simplistic way I'm putting it, but in a way this is what is happening, wrong messaging is happening every day. Resentment, anger, fear, anxiety, these are all poisons that you drink, but you expect somebody else to die. Life does not work like that. If you drink, you die. So because we do everything in installments today. We do death also in installments, that's called disease. See, the most important thing is to get the individual committed towards their health and well-being. They must be committed. That commitment is not there. I see outside the hospital, health workers standing and puffing away a cigarette, how can they get somebody committed towards their health? First thing is to have the individual committed to... towards his health and well-being. If he's committed, he will become conscious as to what to eat, what not to eat, what to do, what not to do. If this enters his life, half the problem is gone. Then specific help for a particular ailment that they're suffering from can be done. 